So now in the videos, I've shown you how to purchase the file on Etsy and download the, the files. And then my other quick tutorial showed you how to save the JPEG file to your iPad from your email and how to create a custom album in your iPad where you can store your digital organizing pages. So now I'm going to show you one of my favorite apps to use with my organizing pages, which is called Paper 53. And I'm starting from scratch here. So depending on when you set your account up and how much you've used it, it might look a little bit different, but I'm just going to show you how to add a journal. So I'm going to create a brand new journal right now. So here it's given me a little notebook, given it a name and added 10 pages to it automatically. But I'm going to go ahead and change the name to the daily page. And then you can pick from these kind of pre-selected color palettes. I'm going to go ahead and pick this one. Go ahead and X out. Now what it's done is created a little notebook journal for you that has 10 pages in it. You can always add more pages if you want. And when you open it up, it's going to have these blank pages in it and you're able to flip through it. So what I'm going to do is actually create one entire journal of my daily page. I'm going to go by date. So eventually what I'll have is just one big journal of my daily pages recorded here for me. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and what it does is open up that double page spread vertically, but that works really well with the page and I don't really mind how it's laid out. Um, but if you want, you can organize this into two pages side by side. Um, so what you're going to do first in order to add the page onto this is swipe over here to the right until this white scroll of paper shows up. You're going to then select it and select import from library. So now what it's done is opened up all of your images and albums. And as we did in the previous video, if you followed those steps, we have a custom album called pages. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the pages album. Um, if you didn't create the custom album and you just saved the JPEG file from your email address onto your camera roll, those images are going to be organized on this one under camera roll. Um, so I'm going to click on pages I'm going to go in here and select the daily page. So now it has opened it up and as you can see at the top, it says move scale or rotate the imported image. Um, but it actually opens it up because it's customized for the iPad Pro um, screen size. So it opens, opens it up um, oriented perfectly. So all I have to do is hit done. And then it's gonna bring up the toolbox down here. So I'm just gonna show you really quickly. This is one of my favorite um, markers to use. And then you can just kind of swipe down to get that to disappear. You can go ahead and write right on the screen, um, add a little bit to the page here just to show you how it works. Um, you can swipe up to get the tools back and you can change the color. And you can also experiment with the different pens and markers that they have available here. So once I have some stuff added here for May 20th, I'm going to go ahead and close out and you can see it's now organized it there in my journal. Um, I'm now going to go open up a new page and do the exact same thing. So I'm going to add a new page for Monday, May 21st. I'm going to hit the scroll down here on the right, import from library. I'm going to find my page within my camera roll or custom album, open it up, select done, go ahead and select my marker and color of choice. I like to put the toolbar away, you don't have to. Um, and then just add more. So you can see there, it just creates this little journal for you that you can organize your pages into by date. You can always go in and delete pages out or delete elements off of it. Um, so if I have this day up and I end up not going for that three mile run, I can always go in, delete that out of there, add in what I did do, make changes really easily, track my water for each day. Um, and then if I want, I can create a whole nother album 
um, or a whole nother journal for different types of pages or maybe just for sketching out ideas or writing poetry or whatever you like to organize within Paper 53. So I hope that helps just kind of show you how it gets laid out and how to add the page into your journal and just some of the basics. So good luck.